Okay, um, before we delve into any details of this paper, um, so let me first introduce some background um, knowledge of our um, work. So our work is based on mixed initiative systems, um, which are interactive computer systems that combine elements of both human initiative and machine intelligence to achieve a specific goal or task. And uh, based on that uh, query clarification, uh, refers to the process of refining or adjusting a user's search query based on interactions between the user and the system. And uh, most traditional works on query clarification only adopt um, text-only clarifying questions to interact with the user, but we think they are not effective enough. And in this work, uh, we assume that um, adding multimodal contents in query clarification uh, will um, result in improved user experience and performance. And uh, let's first take a look at of, uh, this picture. So uh, this picture actually shows two conversations, one with um, images and one without. And when a user submits a query like repair to the system with a hidden information need, um, repair, uh, repair the bike with chain scaping problem, and we can see that um, if we add some images to the clarifying question, it will actually produce um, some visual representations to the intended query, allowing the users to see what he or she is actually searching for. And uh, the advantages of this approach uh, actually have uh, multiple um, advantages and compared with text-only clarifying questions, multimodal clarifying questions cause better understanding of the user intention and with in increased uh, retrieval performance and also with higher user engagements. And uh, this picture actually shows a workflow of how we um, propose to add multimodal contents in query clarification. And we see that uh, all the process begins when a user submits a query here to the system and the system will convert this query um, with some information needed representation, and next it will feed it into some document retrieval module. And after that, the system will judge if uh, it's time to present uh, the retrieved documents to the user or not. If sometimes uh, the query is too short with too little information, it will enter the clarification phase uh, where a clarifying question will be retrieved. And after that, the system will decide whether to add images to the clarifying question or not. Um, if yes, some images will be selected and retrieved together with the clarifying question. And uh, at this time, the user can provide an answer um, to the clarifying question. And once again, with this increased um, information, uh, the system can once again do the document retrieval phase. And uh, all this process will be end uh, when, some, when it reaches to a high confidence score or the maximum number of questions are asked. And at least um, finally, the, the system will, pr will present the retrieved documents to the user. So um, to facilitate our research in this domain, we propose our dataset called Melon. And it is the very first large scale clarification dataset with multimodal information. And uh, we have all the clarifying questions either from a text only clarification dataset called ClariQ or collected from scratch. And each clarifying question is associated with three different images. And this table actually shows a detailed statistics of our proposed Mellon dataset. And we can see that um, it consists of uh, over 4K questions with an average of almost three images per question. And we, um, in total, we have collected more than 15K um, images in total. Um, we also collect new answers for the multimodal clarifying questions and compare them with ClariQ text-only answers. And this figure actually shows the distribution of answer lengths with respect to terms in a UD model and a multimodal data sets. And we see that compared to um, text-only clarifying questions, we can observe answers with longer lengths in the multimodal scenario. And this table shows the answer comparison between Mellon and ClariQ. And we can see that when presented with multimodal clarifying questions, we can actually observe a lower percentage of simple yes or no questions here with a larger vocabulary here. 
um, and this shows that when, when presented with multimodal clarifying questions, the users can actually uh, provide more comprehensive and informative answers. And uh, to this end, we also propose our model called MARTO. And MARTO consists of three different modules. Each corresponds to different stages in a multimodal clarification search system. And it consists of uh, the so-called multimodal enhanced question classification mod module, which aims to um, judge if a clarifying question is multimodal or not. And after that, uh, we enter a image selection module, which aims to select images um, to the clarifying questions. And finally, when the user provides the corresponding answer, we have a document retrieval uh, module, which uh, takes the multimodal clarifying questions and the corresponding answers as input and retrieve the corresponding images. And in general, um, our model adopts a generative framework with different task prefix. And in detail, we uh, adopt a pre-trained uh, multimodal uh, model called VLT5 as the base model with uh, the structure of an encoder-decoder structure. And we differentiate different modules by using different prompts to fine tune the, uh, the multimodal pre-trained model. Um, after that, uh, we perform several experiments by comparing our mod model MARTO with several state-of-the-art baselines. And our main uh, research question is, does adding multimodal information helps the retrieval results? And here, when we try to compare the results, we can see that compared with BERT, Visual BERT actually has a better performance. And we can observe similar scenario uh, when we're comparing T5 and our model MARTO. And we see that um, compared with the, the single model T5, our model actually has a better performance. So um, it is sure that uh, adding multimodal information helps the retrieval results. And we can also um, thanks. Um, so we can also observe several very interesting findings from this table as well. And when we try to sorry, I think it's, yes, um, yes. Um, when we try to remove the question classification module from the model, we can see that in both visual bird case and our model case, the performance drops. So it means that classifying these questions into multimodal and unimodal categories can, uh, um, can help boost the results. And what's more, when we try to compare the pipeline-based models here uh, with models with a compact structure, we see that uh, models with compact structure actually win uh, the pipeline-based models. And another interesting observation is that when we try to compare the discriminative models like BERT and uh, visual BERT with generative ones like T5 and Mar MARTO, we see that generative models actually have a better performance than the, dis than the discriminative models, which means that generative models um, is very effective in incorporating the multimodal information in this case. Um, furthermore, we really want to see um, how what, what's the impact of images in this case, and we try to compare MARTO with several variants that uh, we try to compare MARTO by attaching topic-relevant images, random images, and oracle-based images. And we see that attaching the right image actually matters in this case. And we also perform several extensive analysis uh, by comparing generative and discriminative modeling in this case, that we see that generative models with dark blue color here outperform uh, discriminative models with light blue here in both performance and training efficiency. And this table shows the comparison of the memory usage, the number of model parameters, and training inference time per epoch. And we see that um, MARTO achieves the the best overall convergence speed and the best validation score with the shortest time among all baselines. Um, and we also wanted to make sure uh, the multimodal impact on user answers. So we compare um, Marto's performance on the Mellon subset where all the questions originated from ClariQ. And we see that uh, there shows a significant performance improvement by replacing the ClariQ answers with Mellon answers 
And this indicates that users can offer more comprehensive answers when provided with multimodal questions. And we can also observe that uh, the multimodal information improves the results, both in CloudEQ and Mellon answer sets, suggesting that the images uh, serve as a highly informative resource for addressing the underlying user intent. Um, so our last analysis focuses on the impact of the number of images. Uh, we, we can see here shows the Oracle precision retrieval performance concerning the number of images attached to the question. And we see that incorporating images to the clarifying questions enhances the performance of both models compared to uh, text-only questions here. And of course, attaching the top one image yields the best performance, surpassing the results obtained when attaching two or three images. And so these results actually validate the effectiveness of the image selection model in our model. So um, in conclusion, from our experimental results, we see that uh, including multimodal contents can help boost the retrieval performance compared with text-only ones. And we also see that uh, attaching the right, right image is very important in this task. We also show that when presented with multimodal contents, users can provide more informative answers. And in terms of model design, we demonstrate the effectiveness of generative framework in this task. And that's all for our presentation. Thank you so much.